Welcome to a new week of Morning Live, where like so many of you, we're all trying to get our heads around these new rules and changes in Scotland. The new five-tier system is in place from today. And on Thursday in England, we'll go into a second lockdown. So to help you through all of that, we're starting the week with a show packed to the brim with advice and tips you won't want to miss, along with a little sprinkle of sequins for good measure. And no, that's not an insight into Gethin's weekend. Again. Also coming up, he is the perfect antidote for any Blue Monday. And with all the changes occurring, he's just the person we all need to help us get a bit more clarity on what's going on. You love a little bit of a flirt with Dr Zand on a Monday morning, don't you? So do you! This is... <laughs> That I can't deny. <laughs> I'm only here for the flirting. <laughs> Dr Sam, what did you make of the new restrictions? What were your first reactions? I'm going to stay cheerful and positive, but I guess I, I did... Oh, that last time. It's a lot. An awful lot. lot yeah. An awful lot. Well, I imagine there's loads of things you'll want Dr Zan's take on this morning, so if you have a question for him or a comment on any of our topics today, we would love to hear from you. Can't stop thinking about banana bread now. <laughs> uh, head to our social pages where you can join the conversation on anything we're talking about today or email us morning live at BBC. BBC.co.uk. Now, with three days to go until England joins Wales and Northern Ireland in a second lockdown, we have more time to prepare than we did the first time round and know what to expect. But what did we learn from the first lockdown back in March? Yesterday, I went out to hit... <laughs> the toilet roll! The toilet roll it, gate. Again with the toilet roll. We must have learnt from last time. There is no need to panic, people. No need to panic when it right. comes to toilet roll <laughs> at all. Um, Zand, you know, we, we, what are we, what are we going to see this time? How are things different than last lockdown? They're surprised because they had, they had talked previously about not locking down. Seen, and there's a rumour saying there's not enough around. Can you clear that up? People taking the spread of respiratory viruses seriously is great. Yeah. Hopefully, flu transmission will be lower this year because we're also locking down. That should stop it spreading. The flu vaccine will not protect you against. Thank you, Sabrina. Interesting. I must admit, if I saw someone wearing a mask with the white on the outside and the blue on the inside, I thought it was the wrong way round, even though I didn't know. Um, but, of course, wearing masks is the most important thing, Dr Zan. But interesting this morning... That is my favourite way of judging people, by the way. <laughs> you do the same. I love it. It seems harmless enough. And also, I just put it on arbitrary. Having sold over three million books, the go-to man on this subject is here today to tell us why we all need to start living with no regrets and how we can handle lockdown anxiety. It's author Matt Haig. Matt, thanks for joining us this morning. Morning, Matt. Morning. Thanks for having me. Nice to be here. Now, Matt, England is about to go into a second lockdown. How are you feeling about that personally? Um, lockdown, you know, just mm. even just posting notes through if you need anything, let us know, you know, and it does, it does kind of bring Absolutely. you that feeling of, you know, warmth, I think. We've got some questions, haven't we? The uh, yeah. viewers have been sending in for us. Um, I'm actually going to direct this one to, uh, to Dr Zand, who's with us. Um, it's Claire on email says, what is the best way to start a conversation with somebody that you're worried about? Thank much for having the conversation on Morning Live. Massively appreciated. And Matt's book, The Midnight Library, is out now. It's worth a read. It's brilliant. Now, with all the restrictions on our social lives at the moment and with more to come, we think it's fair to say we're all appreciating the return of Strictly more than ever before. Apps. Um, the show is going to still continue going forward on Saturday night and I think we need it. I think we need it more than ever right now. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't affect us too badly. But with the forward. audience and stuff like that, because I know it's like part audience, isn't yes, it? Yes, I mean... Very I... consistent with what Matt was saying, actually, mm. with the small acts of kindness and looking out for each other. Yeah. What was it like going back to studying? That must have been a bit of a surprise. I've always been a bit of... you got full-day rehearsals today, it's flat full out, Full-day rehearsals, and yeah. we're straight to Harvey after this, yeah. I know, I know it's been <laughs> tough for so many reasons, so, like, listen, we thought it might just be nice on a Monday morning to give you a little bit of inspiration okay. and maybe a bit of love from someone that we may have just been talking about. Oh. Good morning, Aliash. <gasps> that disposable face masks are a disaster for the environment. If everyone in the country uses a fresh one every day, how many masks are different to the amount of rubbish over a year? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, this one is particularly interesting to me. Lots of glasses wearers are getting in touch. Uh, what are the best masks that enable people with glasses to see while wearing them? Because you are, uh, but you can also You're stick a tissue in there and that'll absorb some of the moisture. But I mean, it's not easy. Yeah, yeah. it's not fun either, is it? No. And I do feel for people who are wearing PPE all the time. Um, there's another pack show. In fact, Esther Ranson is here to talk about the family separated in care homes. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.